Hello everyone, welcome to First Code Academy. Today we're going to be making a project called the Animated Clock with the use of HTML and CSS. So these two things are a part of web programming. And in this project, we're going to be making the use of the animation property of CSS to create this animated clock. And the main part of this project is we're going to have a rotating hand, which is the hour, and then the second rotating hand, which is for the minute. And we're going to have that rotate just as how it does on a clock. So let's begin with our project. So now we're going to begin our project. So here we have animated clock starter code. This link will be provided to you in the description on our YouTube video. Right now, we're going to look at the code and explore what it does, what it means. And then we're going to add in our own code for the animation. So here we have a div ID of clock. And inside this clock, we have another div called seconds. Under that, we have a div called minutes. And then under that, we have a div called hours. So inside seconds, we have an image. Inside minutes, we have another image. And inside hours, we have another image. So let's look at what are these images. So as we can see here, we have the clock and there's the second hand. As you scroll down, you'll see the minute hand. And as you scroll down, you'll see the hour hand. Next, what we'd like to do is we want to look at our CSS. So here we can see that the image and height are 100%. We've given a clock a background of gray. We've given it an image. But the gray background is not used as the image is a bit different of a clock with the timing. Then we have a height and a width. We've given a background a sizing. And then we've added a position. So now we're going to begin our code. The first thing we'd like to complete is we want to look at how we can add in all the hands to be positioned just like how it is on a clock. So before we begin, we want to just add this semicolon here, click save, and then we want to click on fork. So fork will have this saved to your account and it'll create a copy. So once that's done here, we want to click on enter and then we're going to type in seconds hashtag minutes hashtag hours so with the user hashtag we're calling in these ids so the next thing we want to do is we want to give it a position of absolute we want to give it a no spacing on the top so we give it zero left we give it zero next we want to give it a height and width so we give it a height of a hundred percent and same goes for the width here so as you see everything is aligned and in place so for the next part we want to create the animation and how we do that in CSS is we use something called keyframes. So we're going to put the at key frames and then type here rotate and then add in our curly brackets. So the next thing we're going to add is a hundred percent. So what this tells us is that we're telling the CSS that the whole time we wanted to just do this animation from start to finish. And then here, we're going to put in our curly bracket and type in transform. So this is known as a animation property and transform. What we're going to use is rotate as we want the hands to turn around in a whole circle and to turn it in a whole circle, we use 360 degrees. So we're going to type in bracket first and then put it rotate and then here, we're going to add in and this, and then we put in this bracket here, 360 degrees, and then put in the semicolon here. All right, so we've added that. And then we click on our save. So make sure for this part, there's just one bracket, and then we have this over here. All right. So the next part is we want to have these hands rotate. So make sure you click on save. 
So we're going to call out the first one, which is ours. And we type animation. And here we will use the animation name of rotate. And we want it to rotate for 12 hours. So in order to do that, we change this number from hours to seconds. So we put 4, 3, 2, 0, 0, and then seconds. Then we want it to run continuously. So we type in infinite. And then we want it to run linear. So we type in linear here. And we've added hours. The next part we're going to code is our minutes. So we type in minutes over here. Type in animation. And then type in the animation name. And then here we want it to rotate for a specific amount of minutes. So we're going to put 3,600 seconds. And then once again, infinite linear. Then we want to work on the seconds. So we do the same thing. We type in seconds, animation, rotate, and then put 60 seconds, infinite, linear. So then we click save. And now you should see your clock will start animating. So the second hand is moving very quickly here. And then slowly what should follow is the minute hand. Let's look at that. So once this makes a complete turn, the minute hand should have moved to our one minute. Let's see how it goes. Nice, it made one turn. So now you can see that the minute hand moved for one minute. So this is the end of our project. I hope you had fun. I hope you guys had fun watching the video and I hope you guys had fun making the project. If you like this video, please make sure to like it. Please make sure to share this video and also subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.